Add this fun, refreshing, non-alcoholic sangria mocktail to the mix at the next holiday party or summer barbecue. This is perfect for a girl's trip, game night, and movie night. Hey guys, it's Marlene here with Savory Thoughts at SavoryThoughts.com. So in today's recipe, we'll be making this delicious sangria mocktail recipe. It's definitely non-alcoholic, so which means it's perfect to serve to the kids. So that way they too can enjoy a delicious summery drink with you all. Sangria is definitely a forgiving drink, meaning that you can alter it any kind of way that you'd like, add any fruits or citrus that you prefer, and I can guarantee you that it will come out delicious at the end. If you want to go ahead and make this for your family, you want to make sure that you have some fresh citrus. And we are talking about fresh lemon slices. We're also talking about fresh orange slices and fresh lime slices. There is no perfect way to make this. Basically, it's all about your palate or your taste buds and also what you find to be refreshing. So first and foremost, after you have sliced your ingredients, you want to make sure that you have a pitcher that is large enough to take all of your sliced citrus and fruits. Well, we're also adding in cranberries. These were initially fresh, however, they have been frozen. So this exact recipe calls for lime juice and also calls for cranberry grape juice. You need about two and a half cups of the juice and we're also adding in sangria juice cocktail. And this is about 25.4 fluid ounces. So go ahead and continue to add all of the ingredients together and we are definitely adding in club soda now this is completely optional if you don't have club soda or if you don't want to use club soda you can also use lime soda now what i like about this is that it gives it that fritz that we like um, it makes it nice and bubbly and also takes the sangria to the next level and if you are serving it right away, definitely recommend that you add a little bit of ice just to chill it just a little bit. So I do have to tell you that if this sangria stays overnight, it will have a strong citrus flavor. Um, so I do want to caution you so you can be mindful of how much of the citrus that you put in. So now it's all about getting your favorite glass and serving your sangria drink and add some mint just to jazz it up and that's it guys the full list of ingredients um, that we added to the sangria is on our website at savorythoughts.com and also if you are new here we would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos we will see you on the next one Cheers.